Okay, so moving on to some of the other parameters here. We have a window garnish offset, plus minus for that. Window garnish scale, plus minus for that. All window garnish scale is, is the scale of the window garnish polygon relative to its parent polygon, if you will. Um, I just leave that at 1 for now, I can't really see any reason to change it, but this window garnish offset value uh, is another way for you to achieve some sort of uh, variation in your look. At the moment it's just set to point 0.1, this is all in meters. So, let's do an example here, I'm going to put this to 0.25 and do a plus minus of 0.2. Let's render that and see what it looks like. Okay. And you can see here what that's done is to move the window garnish polygon in or out by a certain amount. This is quite an extreme example just to give give you a demonstration, but if you want to add just those subtle variances it can really help your final render. Okay. Moving on to these three parameters are kind of linked. The garnish luminosity is just a straight luminosity value applied to the garnish polygon. The garnish diffuse is uh, an inbuilt Lambert shader for the garnish polygon. Just get this out of the way. You can see in this scene that I've got a light down here if I was to turn that around as the diffuse is 80 and the luminosity is 0 this pretty much means that uh, the result should be nigh on black so let's take a look at that oh, and you can see here that it is now I'm just actually going to change these values back to something sensible. Okay, I'm going to turn up this luminosity. Say 50%. Do another render. Now you can see here we can see the window garnish polygons without any direct illumination on them. So this is pure luminosity. Let's change this back down to zero. switch the light back so it's illuminating the building something like that now this garnish exposure mix here what this does is mixes the uh, luminance if you will the effects of the diffuse and the effects of the luminosity with that of the lighting on the interior of the room so whether the lights are on or whether the lights are off. In this example we've got 100% of the lights on so I'll just turn half of them off and I'll also put these back to zero. Now, just do a quick render. Now here you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it on this video, but there are slight luminance changes in the window garnish polys. That's because we've only got this win this garnish exposure mix set to 10%. So this means only a small part of the lighting on the garnish polygon will be influenced by the lighting on the interior of the room. If I put this up to 90% and do another render, okay, here's the result with garnish exposure mix set to 90%. What this means is the rooms where the lights are switched off, the garnish polygon will have a corresponding um, decrease in its illumination. I've rendered both of them here and I'll just flip between them. You can see some of them are now darker, some of them retain their original luminosity. Well, they're a lot brighter. There's still luminosity mixing going on. I'll actually do I'll do another extreme example just in case you can't see that. Okay, so here I just turned the garnish diffuse down so there's no 
no lighting going on here from that. Turn the garnish luminosity all the way up to 100% and the garnish exposure mix all the way up to 100%. So the uh, the exposure for the rooms is really affecting the exposure of the lighting on the garnish polygon, as you can see here. It's a bit more clear now. Okay, that about wraps it up for this video, so I'll see you next time.